Hey Ken's, where are we? Don't worry. We're somewhere. We're at the museum. No, 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 no. We're, no, we're just we're just somewhere. Oh. Some, somewhere. Over the that's rainbow. Not, that's not like no. Yeah, over the rainbow. We're in a gladiator exhibit. Over the rainbow. This is where it's at. Just go over the rainbow. Ancient sword. Over the rainbow. Follow the rainbow to your dreams. This rock. Over the rainbow. From the Greek Colosseum. Over the rainbow. 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 Over after the gladiatorial games were outlawed by Emperor Hornus in the 5th century, the Colosseum began its decline. Over the centuries, it was transformed into a cemetery, living quarters, and workshop for artisans, a fortress, and even quarry for materials for new palaces and churches in Rome. Most gladiators were prisoners of war, slaves, or criminals. Some criminals were condemned to fight as gladiators without training, as a certain death sentence. Others were condemned and received instruction in gladiatorial training before entering the arena. With some skill and luck in combat, a fighter could gain his freedom after three years. Roman citizens sometimes volunteered to become gladiators. They gave up their citizenship and social standing for payment, regular meals, accommodation, medical care, and a chance of fame. Gladiatorial games were full-day events. The day started with a procession of dignitaries, trumpeters, dancers, acrobats, elephants, horsemen, priests on floats with statues of deities, and bearers of gladiators' arms. This was followed by trained hunters killing wild animals and fights between animals. Executions of condemned prisoners followed at noon. In the afternoon, gladiators entered the arena, performed warm-up exercises with blunt weapons, oh, accompanied right. by musicians yeah. and dancers. The combat began with a herald announcing the gladiators' names and previous <laughs> victories. Monitored by two referees, fights lasted until one combatant surrendered or died. Roman catapults played an important role in the success of the Roman army. The Romans called this weapon the onager. Onager, meaning wild ass, was the name given to the machine because of its powerful recoil that made it jump back like a wild donkey when it fired. No, girl. <laughs> Which way was I supposed to do it? The right way, with the oh. number facing out, the way that it was. It no, you did not. Okay. You said it like this. Okay. Is that better? Yeah, put the five up. We need No. Which way? That way. The way where you can read it like a normal person. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, scoot your stand closer. Scoot too far out. Welcome to my new abode. It's a, a TV. This is a dinonic. This is a dinonicus. Dinonicus? Yes. This is uh, the type of dinosaur that my my uh, D and D character will summon a lot. What? Winning a fight? Lucky or Stan? I don't know. Uh, 
Bucky, I think Bucky is a little bigger. Yeah. A little he, beefier. He does have a... He's got longer. Why don't we find out what this one's Well, the arms oh, isn't going to help him much in a fight. This oh, guy's fun fact. Fun fact. Uh, they recently discovered that they have, like, sensitive nerve endings on their faces. Like T-Rex did. And they think it has to do with mating. That they would, like, give each other love bites and stuff. Interesting. This is my favorite exhibit piece. The mammoth launching the human. The fight between humankind and mammoths. We're at the end of the rainbow. Hammer <laughs> ducks. Which goes to the Hammer not this. Hammer not this. SMR sandwich. moving. You're supposed to say lobby Hammer ducks. Come on, kids. You gotta work with me. He's gonna get you. He's gonna get you. Jaw! You think you scared me? You think you did? You think. You think you scared me? Um, what's really cool about their ears, they rotate like satellites. So um, we have to hear a noise multiple times in order to locate where it is. We hear something behind us, we have to turn our head, wait, listen for a second time before right. we can really pinpoint. But with these guys, they can just flick their ears around. They don't need to turn their head all the way. A lot like modern day cats. This is a modern day cat, sorry. I was just in the paleontology hall, so talking about prehistoric. Yeah, the tail's really soft. We're at the art museum. We're at the end of the rainbow. No, we we're already at the end of the rainbow. No, we're still on it. This is really neat. It's like you're in a void. This is uh, uh. It's like a weird optical illusion that makes it look I know like we're in the boy. rainbow, I told you. See, there's still rainbows. The end of the rainbows are real. Follow me on Instagram. Bye, Kinsey9, and the rainbows are real, guys. The rainbows. Well, maybe they can follow you on Instagram when you unblock me. <laughs> Put you on blast, girl. Put you on blast. Yeah. Uh -huh. 